All right, all right. Let me pull up the questions. A lot of the people in chat put down some questions. Questions. Yeah, I let them decide some of them. So we're going for a AMA sort of thing because I I'm pretty familiar with your background, so I'm sure you might be prepared for some of the questions. I figured. <laughs> Uh, let's pull this up. So, for starters, uh, what are your professions? Oh, well, right now, I'm basically just an OnlyFans girl. Okay. Well, I mean, I just, yeah, I'm a sex worker. I just do a lot of various things with selling content online, and that's really it. And uh, how long have you been doing it? Oh, did we lose connection already? Oh, no. You're 17? 2019? Oh, no. Oh, no. You said 2017, you said? Yeah, 2017. 2018-ish, oh. yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, You were with uh ATK, right? Yeah, I worked with them. I think that's, like, people's favorite works with of mine, I think. Because it's just more, like, I guess, casual ish <laughs> as yeah, casual yeah, yeah. as it can be <laughs> oh yeah really i've been i've been watching them for a while mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there's so much there's a lot there's a lot of videos yeah it's like really good with uh pov and stuff i'm like oh, mm -hmm, man, mm -hmm. this is my favorite <laughs> yeah it's pretty and you, solid. you already you already know i've been uh watching you frequently mm -hmm, uh, you're yeah. actually you're actually my top five Top five? That's actually very kind of you yeah, to say. Yeah, you actually are. <laughs> Mostly because I don't have anything new anymore. It's like all old now. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, so do you plan on getting back into more like professional production in the future? No. No, just more like I would rather just do like artsy like production things like things like that. Not like straight up, you know porn right right were mm -hmm. there any uh like issues with the industry um i mean i just realized you know that um i can literally just make you know my, my own content and sell right. it myself like yeah i'm not gonna get the that instant payout for each scene but that's okay you know because you'll get that monthly oh yeah that's yeah. that's uh really like the future right now Especially mm -hmm. with the all the controversies and stuff. So, like, in your, like, personal views, do you uh, see the whole, like, mainstream porn industry as, like, really unethical? Um, I think there's a lot of people who are in the industry that, um, I don't know. I think it's, like, with anything. There's always, like, a group of people who, like, get this ego in their job and they think that there's, like, this person and it's, like, in reality, like... You know who are you you just do this thing you know but like um yeah i don't know like i think they glamorize the whole idea for these young girls because like it's predominantly like really you know young girls who do it and like yeah so they end up just like they're like oh my god i'm getting like paid a thousand dollars to do a scene or or some girls get hustled for less like um and but they've never you know but they don't know because they're from like ohio and they've never seen like seven hundred dollars or something you know what i mean so like yeah. to them, that's, that's like crazy but um for me i don't know i was already like working i did like camming i did stripping and then i just happened to meet a porn star and then they just kind of like at the t you know at the time i was like oh okay let's just do it it's just doing a thing you know and then yeah then i realized it wasn't just doing a thing it was yeah a big thing. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very thing because now it's forever because like um yeah, like, it doesn't matter how long, like, I don't film, like, a high production thing. Like, those are always there. And someone new will see it for the first time, you know, like, today for every, you know, every second. So it's just, like, it's very interesting. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah, I'm true. I remember the first time I found Because uh, I was finding out because uh, I was getting more into the production aspect. And mm -hmm. uh, I have a social media. I think we talked on, like, tiktok once i think you commented on my tiktok before but uh mm -hmm. it was under a different name where i was doing like top fives of like porn stars 
and just like releasing videos uh, every day on TikTok. And uh, that's pretty much how I found out about you. And you was really interactive and responsive. And that what that that's what caught my attention at first because uh I always no matter what industry or uh sex working or not I always love a content creator that loves to like interact with their fan base and talk to them however way you can and even then like now while you're doing streaming uh I see you always party up with a lot of people on um, Fortnite with your chat I just don't have a you know I'm not I don't think of myself as like you know like a some I don't know, like people. I think people are like make them think like like an idol or something, you yeah. know. And it's like yeah, right. just a person. Like I'm just a person who just happens to do this thing, and then people know about it. Like that's really it. And I, so I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just don't have an ego about it. It's just something that I do. Something, you know, that's really... <laughs> right. Yeah, that's like yeah. that's and people that... like it, and it's just, that's really it. You know. Yeah, yeah that's, that's. I'm not I'm better like... than anybody, or nah. it's you know, like it's yeah, we're just all people. That's a, that's some people think trait. they're gods. Yeah, they do. I hate that. Yeah, that's, no. a, that's a problem with like modern content creation, especially with the whole TikTok thing. It was even recently a guy was just like get, get it way in their head. Like even recently, it was a TikTok uh, TikToker who got arrested for trying to crash into a stranger on the street, and he was just like, "Oh, I'm too famous to get arrested." Blah 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 blah, and he just got his ass whooped <laughs> instantly. I'm like, "Oh God, of course." I don't. I didn't even know who you were. Yeah, I I hate when people try to like use like things against people. It's like, why do you think that's like leverage? Like, why do you think that's good enough leverage to like, you know, this sweep there everything is, under the rug? Like, you know, right. like, the, like, there's, the there's people no who say things leverage. like, oh, that's my my uncle's this guy, or it's like, who cares? Like, you're yeah, not that uncle, I, you know oh, I, I mean? fucking like, I fucking hate that. I, we watch a yeah. lot of like police uh body cam footage on stream oh i love that shit that's i've been watching that this year and oh my god it's, yeah. oh, it's so good because you see people really act out and you're like you really think that you're just above like the law like really? who and, are you and i mean shit and not even to like uh bring like race into it but i see it's like a very common uh thing when i watch them it's usually like the the white girl with like blonde hair she's just yes. like <laughs> I'm like, come on now. Or a white man, because it's it's been like, oh, yeah. this is like the um the governor's nephew or some Nephews, shit. And yeah, he, my you know, and be like, yeah, and it's like, who cares, dude? You have felonies. You still a bad. You have your warrant for your arrest, and you're getting right. arrested. Like, what like, are you? Yeah, you, you still did the crime. Mm -hmm. But yeah, speaking but yeah, of uh, like the whole uh like racial uh aspect, especially in uh sex work. Uh, mm -hmm. do you think it's a real, really big, like discriminatory issue when it comes to Asian, uh, actors? Um, I don't know. In my opinion, I think, well, it's biased, I guess, but, um, uh, I think that people who use, uh, the whole Asian, I guess, side or yeah. like any type of racial, uh, way to push their content, I think they need to get paid more. Oh, right, you, you know, know. Yeah, like I think anything with like taboo, fe like people fetishizing things, like I think you have to the niches, you know, right? Yeah, you have to accommodate yeah. that niche. Right. What is it like? I don't understand why guys don't get paid that much because it's like really. I, I know it's question. hard to stay hard. You know, That's mostly when that you, one. you know, <laughs> like that, you got that was all these people question. around you. You got a camera, and you're like, all right, I have to make sure this wiener stays hard for this whole scene I, like that's why i never wanted stop. to act in yeah like, oh it's, it's yeah just, like, filming. like well at least like a, a like a real porn production you do there's cutting like we move mm -hmm. so we can get different angles different positions blah 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 or clean up or whatever because there's so many cuts you know in porn it's not like most of the time it's not just all the way there's it's not a, a cut one it's not a one yeah. shot no yeah unless it's like unless it's one of those yeah yeah, yeah there are a lot of one shots yeah, yeah. That's a Gonzo style. I'm pretty sure that's what they call yeah, it. Yeah, 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 Gonzo. Yeah, yeah that because just like, yeah. Yeah, my bad, no, my bad. Yeah, uh, that was uh actually another one of my questions. Uh, let me find it real quick. I want to find because no, but it is a big thing though because they always put like Asian girl, Asian, you know, like yeah, yeah. It's like a mm -hmm. it's it's a fetish and uh, we talk they don't about say white girl unless they're no. doing it with like unless it's like a white girl shooting with a black man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's the then only it's thing. like, then it's like some white. I mean, was it like the snow bunny bullshit? Like, yeah, uh, yeah. white girl takes you know, BBC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they do things like that, but they don't say like, 
you know, white girl does gangbang or, you know, it's, it's always no, like it's, that girl or. And then with know. the whole like Asian thing, it's like, um, cause this is what I found out during my research. Uh, cause, it, cause when I'm doing different cultures and stuff, doing top fives, to, like show expose a bunch of different cultures so that they could get more uh, recognition with, when it comes to porn, they don't like to, uh, especially Asian porn, they don't like to, like, specify the actual Asian race. They just put Asian. So it could be under Thai, Vietnamese, Korean, Jap- uh, Japanese. I've been under Hispanic, too. Oh, my God. I've seen that, too. I've seen that, too, with uh, Filipina uh, mm-hmm. uh, actresses. Like Latina girl, and it's like, what? Where did you I, get like, that from? Yeah, that, that, that fucked up a lot of my... Cause, I don't like to put out false information. I always try to be as uh, credible and ethical as possible with anything I do in uh, creativity. And that just made it so much harder, especially for like the new uh, actresses and the most unknown ones. It, it's hard to get a lot of information on them. Yeah. I feel like it's a lot harder now. Like you really have, like it's starting to, I think the like the mainstream porn stuff, it's becoming to be like, the 90s again in the 80s of like oh, high production porn boogie nights like, yeah mm-hmm, i think it's starting to turn into that where like girls have to be pretty much perfect to be in mainstream porn now like that's why it's yeah. like all our creators now we just do our stuff and it's always fetish or like anything like that right, or niche yeah. or you know cam girl stuff and but mainstream it's like a lot harder now unless you have like a following yeah, yeah, there's uh, cause even then, like the top ten on Bornhub has pretty much been the same for like five years, until like even Elfie came out. Mm-hmm. And uh, speaking of like uh fetishes, do you do like a lot of like fetish requests since you do OnlyFans? Oh like, yeah, you know? I I get like the whole the whole works. They ask me, I get all the requests from like what was your craziest? Fluid. Um. And I'm not gonna say which one, but I did see one of them before. So I, I, I'm, I, I might if you if you're comfortable with me putting that in, then uh, I want to uh, talk about that too. I think I know what you're talking about, but I don't know if I want to talk about. It. If you don't want to talk, I think we know. I think we both know which one we're talking about. Yeah, because uh, that type of content, you know. Um, what is it? It's very taboo. Um, yeah. But I had done it. Like, it was supposed to be a private thing. Like, you know, you're selling it to, like, one-on-one with a fan. But you, you sell it to that one person who decides to just, to like, it. put it all online. And you're just, yeah, like, yeah. you're... And then now all these people ask me for it. And I'm, like, sorry. It was special. Somebody it was spe- ruined it. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the it. whole point of, like, getting custom content from people. Exactly. It's supposed to be... Yeah. That's, yeah, that's, a. Uh... But I will admit, because I'm not into any of uh, like those fetishes. I'm pretty vanilla, actually. But that's, pro- that's probably what shot you to my top five, is the fact that like even though I saw it, I'm like, why am I still uh, uh, attracted to this? I'm like, oh, it, 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 mu- it, must be, it must be the actress. It has to be the actress. Because there's no, there's no normal situation where I would be attracted to that. There's yeah. no... I mean, I don't know. Some I've had people just like want me to spit in a cup. They just want me to s- fill up a cup, like a clear cup, with spit. I have people who ask me to like do close up of my eyes, but I'm like putting my eyes up and looking down, and I have to do it for one minute. And sometimes they ask me to breathe heavy. Oh my god! Just like, do you do ASMR? That's kind of, um, I mean, that's pretty much what that was. Yeah, but, that's what I was saying. I pretty much am ASMR because I'm not a, a very vocal person. I'm working on it. Um, but yeah, I'm more of like a, just a moaner. I'm, you know, like I just make my noises or like, you know, little, just small commands and then that's really yeah. it. I'm not, yeah, I'm not like, a, I don't give dialogue. <laughs> like, <laughs> I hate when like, I, like, that's why I didn't like doing the porn either because I was like, once they gave me a script, I was like, I'm not going to be able to concentrate on the sex and the right. script. That, that's like another, like what people, people really like don't recognize it, but that is definitely like a talent right there. Focusing on the pleasure of sex 
focusing on the scene while still focusing on the script all at the same time. That's a time. I have to make sure I look good. I sound good. I'm in the right position so we don't have to refilm it, you know? Right. Like it's, it's crazy. You no, know, it's just like filming any like thing. Like we have they do takes. They do takes. So if they don't get that shot, they're gonna we're gonna get it in the end. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's that's why I could never like even fathom being an actor. And uh, like I don't know how these girls are doing like just game bangs, just like you know, because, like, I would just be so... I would be thinking too much. Like, yeah, there's just too much too going much. on. I had, Like, I'd be thinking... I, yeah. But I also, I feel like it's easier to lose yourself. But I did an anal scene, and that was a lot for me. It was, it was a lot? Too much. It was a lot. Like, because I, I had to have a, a, a happy face on. Because that's, like, what they wanted. And so, oh, I'm... This is... I don't really do anal. This man's... I'm pretty sure he has, like, a penis pump in his dick too so it's like yeah. extra hard and it's just not fun for anal nah. in my opinion i don't want something hard like i don't that's yeah that was actually one of our uh chatter questions are you were you comfortable with it do you like it i like anal but okay. i don't like uh i didn't like that right right and when it comes but to like i, don't know. Uh, I no, did train ahead. but it wasn't enough oh uh, was it oh was it <laughs> Uh, how, because it's like it's the, it's the moving like you can do the, the whole like tapering your butt and everything because right. they give you like um yeah like tapered butt plugs so that you can like gradually get to the size yeah, 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 like yeah, the size yeah. that he is and um uh, yeah maybe i just don't like big wieners in my butt <laughs> that was uh yeah. that was uh, let me, I'm going to ask this one first, and then I'm going to go to that. We're going to go back to the uh, big wiener situation, because that's another chatter's question. <laughs> this has been a debate for the past week with us. But uh, when you do get booked for a like a scene, a lot of uh, actresses, they do different videos in like one day with the same production company. So uh, do you get paid for the day, or would you get paid per video? You get, uh, it depends on, like, uh, like, there's, like, different, I guess, contracts. Like, you can right. either do, like, that same day, and so they just write you a check or give you cash. Um, or, like I did with my anal, I get, uh, I promised them three videos, and they paid me one. I mean, paid me for all of them. Okay. And then, um, but I only gave them two. <laughs> but I still got paid. Was you was you just like worn out after the whole that shot or well no it's not that you give them the two right then okay yeah yeah like I did my one uh, and then like a month or so later uh, I do another one okay but I just okay. like it just was like too much for me like the right. it's just too big of a wiener for me like, <laughs> I'm just not a size queen You're not... I thought I was like I don't know but I I I have my limits your preferences <laughs> uh huh. So, uh, what size is too big and what size is too small? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I mean, honestly, word? like, like five, five and a half is like my stopping point. And then anything below that is like what's going on but also you could have a long wiener and it be too thin mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's like if a... it's, you know like for me like i need a little bit of girth um but that's just yeah i because I, then it just feels like i'm getting jabbed you know like yeah so that, i need yeah. girth <laughs> that, that was the, okay yeah that was the follow-up question but i don't need length like right. i need girth and I, I need, need you know, girth. yeah so length is like whatever because i you right. the inside of you is only so far girls it's who like are three taking, and a half inches right girls who are taking like stuff like this they're like they've been doing that they've been forcing their body to take it like mm. i don't force my body to do it like <laughs> i even get like my dildos are like just like five six inch dildos i don't get anything bigger anything bigger just hurts if i can't put it in my mouth i don't want it you know so Raz, this is where i lose this battle i would give you the w so would you say, are you more a, uh, well, I pretty much already got the answer, but are you more of a chode bro or are you more pro dagger dick? Yeah, sometimes I don't like that curve. Oh, okay. So too, so not, not too much girth and not too much length. You're like right in the middle. 
Yeah. Oh, like, God. too much curve sometimes, it's like, it just depends. We have to, like, stick to specific positions with mm. curve, like, certain curves. Because then it's, or if the guy knows that he has a curve, then they have to, like, work. If they don't know what to do, then it, it just hurts. Oh, okay. So, oh, okay. So you said yeah. curve. I said, I said girth, but curve was also another question. Well, I mean, like, it's like all, I think it all plays in together. Uh, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's like a combination. It's like, Mm-hmm. What's best with each, like you know, stat <laughs> your stats, basically. Yeah, because you could have a good girth and everything, but then it's like too curved. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It, so know, then uh, it's just like, are you so you're so you more you look more towards straight, or are you still fine with curved? I don't mind it, but it can't be too much as long as you know what you're doing with it. Right, right. What's your favorite curve? Do you like the left turn or right turn or the Captain Hook is what I like to call it? Where it hooks up. <laughs> uh oh, not the network. Is that I, you or? I don't actually don't mind the hooked up. Oh no, is it? No, we're good. We're good. We're good. I hear you now. Oh, no. but yeah, I like the the hook, um, but it also only feels best from the back. Okay. Oh, really? So like yeah. doggy style. Yeah. I actually... everything with the hook is great with doggy style. Wow. Okay. I was thinking put, the also opposite. Also, you can't ride a lot of guys who have the hook. Oh no. Oh, did my camera die? Yeah. Let me see. I think my camera. Died. I'm gonna check it real quick. Yeah, cause I don't see you, but I see me. Camera exhausted. That's why I shouldn't have played Valorant er- earlier. Uh, I'm going to turn it off real quick. It should charge in like three minutes. You're good. Because when I play Valorant, I have to switch the sort of camera I use, and it kills the battery faster. But I, f- I saw that happening soon. So uh, let me see. We was talking about the curve. Yeah, so I thought I was thinking the opposite, actually. I was thinking... um missionary would be best with the captain hook because like the 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 g spot i think or maybe i just had bad luck with bad luck. Oh. or like they just don't know that like they can like don't have to they always want to be like in my face okay okay you know? yeah yeah they, so... they want they want to be right here they don't want to sit back and look at me they want to be right here <laughs> You don't, you don't like, like the, the close up. You don't like the close ups. I don't, cause I have like sensory issues, so sometimes okay. I get like claustrophobic, and I'm just like, oh my god, get off of me. <laughs> I like it sometimes. Like if I'm if I'm embracing somebody, then mm-hmm. yeah, I can handle it, cause I'm like, okay, I'm okay. This is safe. Like I feel comfortable. I don't feel like trapped. But when someone's like just on top of me, I'm just like. Oh, yeah, get your yeah, forehead yeah. off of my forehead <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm definitely more of that like embracing type but i try, I try not to get too close but i do like mm-hmm. that em- that em- embracing and uh that does actually make me think of a different question uh because watching your uh like the production scenes i was mm-hmm. seeing a lot of uh what i would call roughness going on oh yeah i did a lot of i think i don't know what it was it was just at that time. Yeah, yeah. Before so, everything, like everyone started getting canceled, you know, like that's when I pretty much was in porn. Was before everything got really sensitive and stuff. Right. And allegations started coming out. And so now all these people who do rough stuff, they they gotta like be more careful. Yeah, I was yeah. uh, cause I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of like roughness, especially when I was watching. I'm like, ooh, maybe that's a little too rough. I'm like, okay, well, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of rough. So, uh, so mm-hmm. would you say you're like more of a like a rough or a passionate type? Because, uh, or and was it like the director's choice to make it rough? Oh. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it, they tell us, they let us okay. know that if it's gonna be a rough scene or not. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Do you prefer more rough or passionate? Um, I think the roughness comes with passion. Oh, okay, okay. That's a new right? one. I think it goes hand in hand. Okay, okay. Yeah, like sometimes What's... people get so passionate, like they want to. 
get really mm-hmm. oh, okay oh, okay i see what you mean i see what you mean yes because because uh, I, I i that that is some situations that's happened with me and uh because i was referring to more like the whole like people putting their foot on people's heads and stuff like that i'm like that's yeah stuff. i don't really much care about stuff like that like i don't okay. really want to be i don't want to be degraded like i don't mean yeah. being manhandled but i don't i don't like um being degraded yeah like, stuff okay. like that Mm-mm. Okay, yeah, because I'm that's I I'm, like, um, um, what is it? I like, uh, <laughs> I like praise, I like right. uh, positive affirmations. I like, mm-hmm. <laughs> like, people are like, don't you think that's corny to hear while you're getting, uh, like, you know, having sex with somebody? And no. just like, like, no, no, I want to hear all of it. Like, tell me how great I am. Like, <laughs> really? <laughs> you know? I'm very, yeah. vo- I'm vocal, like, I'm vocal. I'm not gonna talk to you, but I'll talk back to you if you talk to me, mm-hmm. you know, but I'm not gonna, you know. Yeah, I feel like I, I, I feel like that like just like adds to the entire like emotional experience of just having a conversation like while you're doing it. See what you're comfortable with, see what you both agree on doing next. I feel like conversation is another big part of yeah, having a like, sexual experience. You, because you can't just like have one day where you just sit down and be like, Okay, this is the stuff I'm okay with and this is the stuff I'm not okay with because even in the moment, sometimes you just don't feel it in those in those mm-hmm. things that you are okay with aren't that nice in that moment you know so i feel like like it's yeah consent has to be given like in the moment you can't like um like what you said that i could do all this stuff then it's just like uh for me it's like i don't know i like when people ask or make it more like of a foreplay yeah oh yeah foreplay is like no you're not going to be taking anything from me you know like it's going to be more of like Okay, that's totally not me. So, <laughs> hold on one second. Oh no, that is me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, we're good again. I've, I I need to, but what I need to do next is buy my own router. Right now, I'm invest, investing in like IRL streaming, but I definitely need to get my own router soon. Mhm. And uh, so with the whole roughness and the whole director's choice, in your opinion, being in like the whole uh Asian sex working sphere. Do you think directors usually lean towards uh more rougher scenes with Asians? You don't think so? No. No? No. I think I think they encourage it more with the younger girls though. Okay, okay. Then they're probably just young when I was watching cuz I I see a lot of cuz I've seen like a slight trend when uh I put on like some type of Asian uh, actress is like it's usually like really rough for a lot of them i'm just like that's kind of i think it's like that stereotype of like i guess like a lot of asian girls are more submissive yeah like that whole thing i don't know i've been getting into this thing where like i'm i don't know i'm demanding more things now so i'm not (laughs) like uh, okay okay so you're more you're getting more to dom i'm probably gonna slap them back like uh (laughs) like yeah it's getting weird (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> uh, I'm in a different era right now. Um, I'm no, still we're, we're not. Era. We're 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 not a uh, film dom era right now. We're not film <laughs> dom era, doing a lot of smacking, scratching. I mean, I'm I'm into some of that too. I mean, yeah, a lot of people are kind of scared though, because they're like, I'm not I'm not used to an aggressive female. Oh, <laughs> uh, that, that, that's when they just have to let go sometimes. You just gotta yeah, try. Like, Everything's worth trying. Try. This is just a good time. Don't think too much about it. Just don't, that's, yeah, that's the thing. Just don't, just don't think, think too think much about it. Too much. Like, it ruins the fun. Like, right. I hate when people try to plan out sex because I'm just like, no. I just want to do it. Like, it's, it it's definitely not something you plan. Right. No. It's definitely not something you plan. Stuff can happen. It just takes the fun out of it. It's just like, yeah. okay. It's like, it's like a like, vacation at that point, like a planned vacation. It's the same thing with a vacation. No, it just makes me feel like, like, all right, just do the thing. Like, it's just like, <laughs> like, just like all right, you know. It must probably feel the same as just like reading a script from like a sex scene as well too. So it's just like if you plan it out. Well, honestly, like a lot of those are just so unrealistic. Right. Because like yeah, everything about it is just hella unrealistic. Like. Mm-hmm. That's why there's so many cut scenes in those uh types of like the scripted ones. That's yeah, why I don't. Yeah. I, like, I prefer things that are just like, here's an interview, here's this girl, and now she's gonna have sex. Like. <laughs> I, like I don't like the whole like. Casting oh, couch. 
Yeah, well, Cassie's Couch is fine too because okay. it's pretty straightforward. Uh, mm. uh, what is it? But it's more so like the ones that are just like, oh, my, uh, we're having dinner with my dad, and I drop something on the table, <laughs> and, like, or like I'm at the t- I'm at in the sink washing dishes, and like my boyfriend's eating me out, or my dad's talking to us like at the dinner table. Like, it's That's just, like cr- That's I so hate weird. that shit. Like I yeah, like. Yeah. I'm I'm your boss, and like, uh, if you want a raise, and you're trying to like seduce me so that I can give you a raise, like I hate that. Like I don't want to do that. <laughs> Is that your same like views on like step sibling? <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised that I didn't get casted for any shit like that, but I do not. Yeah, I don't. Would you turn that. it down? Yeah, I mean, I just never. I don't think I would do it. Like I think that's kind of weird. Yeah, I, I feel like it was. Yeah, I feel like it was like sort of like a loophole around just like incest uh porn by just yeah, being like step siblings. Like I have traumas with like family stuff, so I'm always like, why would anybody want that? Why is right. anybody turned on by that? I'm so repulsed. Like yeah. the idea of like you know somebody that I value as a family member doing something with to me like that's so weird. Oh yes, yeah, it's, it's like the it's Island Boys. Look at oh. <laughs> That's crazy. They're like Claremont twins now, you know? Oh, that twin says shit now. It's fucking oh weird. God. Yeah, so you were talking I about your... Everybody's uh... gotta eat, right? No, nah, they, they, they're they they're falling off. They had to do something. I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, I guess they had to, like, you know, they have bills. They gotta pay for their house that they like, probably bought, you know? <laughs> they, a... they had... They thought they were gonna have this expensive lifestyle mm-hmm. forever, you know. But. I was just, but that's a that's what a lot of like I see it in South Florida a lot. That's what a lot of people think instead of just like educating themselves. Highly too. Yeah. Like in LA, it happens. It happens in every major city, but Florida, for some reason, it just hits different. Yeah, I'm the same thing with the uh, low pump. Yeah, but he act he he played it smart though. He acted like a dumb guy and he wasn't. Low pump, you think so? Yeah. Oh damn! I, that's the first. He's a whole it. team, you know. Yeah. Like everything's marketing now. I did. Yeah, I never thought of it like that. I, I felt like all these parties idiot. that you think were like fell off, they're still getting paid. They're still getting like brand deals. They're getting. They're still getting things. Royalties. Mm-hmm. Like they're still getting paid. Like they're making money off of what is it called, Distro Kid or Kid Distro? <laughs> um, all those things. So Don't like with the on. uh so with like videos for example that are on like um the hub, do you get royalties for that or are you only just paid you don't get ro- okay, okay, okay. Unless I post it. Unless you post it, right. But it, cause those are not like legally, you know. We don't, well, if you did, you sign a contract with a company and it says like they own it, you know, that's why they pay us a thousand dollars just to mm-hmm. just, we're just like actors, you know, like in Hollywood, like they, they don't get paid shit either. Oh yeah! Oh, of course. That unless, is a huge unless strike. the film does well, you know, unless they they sign a deal where it says like you get royalties, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a this big strike on that right now. Yeah. I, the what? Hold on. <laughs> what What is the white sauce treatment? What? That's what I'm trying to figure. He's weird. He says a lot of weird shit. And that's just the white another. Sauce treatment. The white sauce treatment. While he answers that, I'm gonna get to a, a different Talking question. about like a facial? Oh, maybe. I don't know. I'm guessing. Because I can't I, I can't imagine anything else. Yeah. Is that I what you talk about? You said Okay, fine. F- fuck you too then. Fuck you too, Raz. I will. I will. I will. <laughs> God damn it. You know what? I will. <laughs> you could you could go back to your corner ass. So uh we was uh talking about like the scenes and stuff. So what what is like probably the average price for a woman actress to get paid for a booking? Thousand dollars. At least thousand. for me. Yeah, okay. at least it was for me. Some I've but I heard stories where girls were getting paid like Five hundred, seven fifty. Oh yeah, seven fifty. Yeah, I heard that. Guys get paid like seven hundred, seven fifty. So it's like, okay. Or like if they do like a gangbang, they'll get like a thousand or eight hundred or nine hundred or whatever. Yeah. But guys that can literally shoot like a lot in a day, mostly if they have a hot, you know, if they're able to. 
like comment keep every two minutes yeah. and keep it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like three times a day, you know, like there's some guys who can do that so they can just bounce to production to production. Right. Yeah. But now everybody films content. So it's like, kind of, mm-hmm. it's kind of like really dangerous. Like, how does everybody stay safe? You know? Yeah. Speaking of staying safe, uh, staying safe, uh, do you, is it like uh, mandatory to bring a clean STD test before every shoot? Yeah. Um, some people have requirements. Like some people don't care. Like they'll, they're okay with the 14 day test. Okay. I like I like a fresh test. Mm-hmm. I like it. That's why I like working with people like and getting personal with them because it's like we're swapping fluids. Like there's no condom. Right? We we got to do this thing, dude. Um <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Most of the time like that's why I got really lucky cuz I worked with people that I worked with multiple times. Right. Like I worked with like the same talent a lot. So it was like yeah, my yeah, my rep sheet out there is not that big with guys on out there because it's just like I didn't shoot with that many. It was just like the same people for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> I guess it was just that, maybe it was just at that time. Was it all know. under uh, ATK? No, no, no. no ATK wasn't. ATK is their own. Okay. Um, porn production company. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's just one guy. Oh, oh, it's, well, oh. He's just one guy. It's just one guy. out and films with them. Right. I see now. I see. Okay, okay. So that must have been really more comfortable to do then. Yeah, because he was a chill guy. He was very educated, so I learned a lot. Very smart, you know. And, it, you know, obviously we got taken care of really well. And I went on vacation, so. <laughs> well, I just had to a little bit, you know. Where's some of the, where's some like places that you've been? Uh, I just went to Hawaii, uh, twice. That was okay. cool. Mhm, that was nice. Um, but it just got too personal with the guy, so I was just like, this is getting really unprofessional. So right. it sucks. You know, it sucks. I can't work with him anymore. But um, I also don't want to do, you know, mainstream porn anymore, and that's considered mainstream porn because it's production. yeah. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, and yeah, it's I'm, also posted all over the fucking tube for free everywhere. for everybody to see, <laughs> which is which is crazy to me. I'm just like, holy fuck! I filmed so much with him. Right. Yeah. I I, I personally I tried to support the small art uh, uh uh artists workers uh in the community. Man, I'm just so poor right now. <laughs> no, it's not even like there's just so many ways to support. Like it's like right. uh. You can just reposting or just like doing things like that. Like that's enough. Like yeah, that's what that's what I was doing. What I did honestly, like that was my form of showing support and to like kind of make up for watching it for free. Because <laughs> I get it. I watch porn all the time. I exactly. Don't pay for porn. Like, right. This is easy. Yeah. Why would Why would I? Like, but it, and I always just feel about, I'm like, well, I'm going to try to support these people in some way at least. Mm-hmm. Like. Yeah. So. Uh, so well, you're also, like, also, like I got paid for those, you know. It's not like yeah. I didn't. Oh, as long as you get paid, that's all. I, yeah. I was, I'm just mad about the royalties. That's the only thing I don't like. Yeah, I'm sure if there was a better system, but then the companies wouldn't uh, make a lot. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much the same thing with like Hollywood right now and shit like that. The strikes. I feel like there should be mm-hmm. another sex worker strike when it comes to porn up. I know they had a couple in the past. But, uh, yeah, but they're fine because they give you a chance to like uh, claim or like um, do things like that. Pretty much. Yeah, copyright claiming and stuff. Mm-hmm. So you said you uh, only been to Hawaii. Have you been anywhere internationally? And if you mm-hmm. have, okay, where at? Uh, I went been to France. Okay. I've been to Bulgaria. Been to Greece, mm. uh, Mexico, Costa Rica, oh, Vietnam. Okay. That's really it. And uh, I'm I'm I already know, but uh, for the chat, uh, you are Vietnamese, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. You said Bulgaria. Yeah, if you uh wanted to choose anywhere to live in the world, where would it be? That's so hard. <laughs> I know. Trust me, I know. Like, I don't know, like the Netherlands, uh, okay. Norway. Um, oh. Well, somewhere just like. Very naturey, but Nature still pride. progressive, you know. Right, yeah. Amsterdam is really progressive. 
Yeah, but it's too um, it's the city. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're trying to you're trying to be like nature, nature. Chill. Yeah, like super right. chill. Yeah, that's kind of maybe Ireland. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just yeah. kidding. They're very chill there, though. Um, but I wouldn't mind like if I was like 80 years old, if I make it, you know, to 80. Um, mm-hmm. I'll be like a sheep farmer or something. <laughs> hurting my, my <laughs> That's what yeah, that's how it was because uh, I did uh, a road trip around like all fifty states for my twenty first, oh. and I was just really just like trying to look for a place like what would be the best place for me to just like get a farm, stay away from all this shit, and just chill the fuck out. There's and I think I think my Wyoming? place would probably be yeah. I was gonna say my 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 choices were either like Maine, Wyoming, or Colorado. Yeah, Maine, upstate New York. Um... Mm, oh yeah, for sure. I don't know the coast of like Georgia, um, the coast of the Carolina, like not South Carolina, but North Carolina. Really? Um, mm-hmm. yeah. I actually liked South Carolina better when I went through. Really? I maybe because yeah. I've only been to Myrtle Beach. I haven't been right. anywhere else. Maybe I'm, I'm biased, but I don't know. I'm also no- from North Carolina. So. <laughs> you say you're from North Carolina. Carolina. Mm-hmm. It's because we have like mountains you know right. and like it's just really pretty and you, we also have the ocean they have the ocean too but ours is nicer <laughs> ours is just nicer we're better mm-hmm. than the south no if you go look at some carolina beaches those are gorgeous yeah that's just, that's kind of funny because like even though like myrtle beach is a thing i didn't go to any beach side in uh the carolinas not at all i went to fayetteville because i went to see j cole's house but that's pretty much fayetteville? It. <laughs> that's like the widest place you could go <laughs> but like, look i want to see j cole's house he's my favorite rapper like if you have a, like in north carolina if you have a friend who's mixed their your grandpa probably lives in fayetteville <laughs> it's so weird it's like everyone i've made that's like well at least from my town because i was the only vietnamese family right so it was just like it was just a very interesting place it was very interesting Right. Okay, so Country. yeah, being the only Vietnamese family, especially in like the Carolinas, have you ever like faced any like uh discrimination for your race or anything like that? Nothing that like truly offended me. You know what I'm saying? Like I had things like, oh, don't get in a fight with her. She knows karate, or like uh, people would call me that Asian girl. You know, what I mean, like, but. You know, or just they'll be like, oh, she probably did so well in the test, you know, because <laughs> she's Asian. Or they'll be like, oh, you know, she finished her homework. Or you're like, you know what I mean? <laughs> or like, oh. <laughs> like, just, it's just, to me, it's just not that offensive. They'll be like, oh, I bet I could, uh, you know how to blind a Chinese man? They'll be like, oh, dental floss or some shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. It's just not offensive to me. Like, I've been called an anchor baby, which I actually like. I actually use that term to describe myself because I am an anchor baby. Okay, okay. What's uh? I have a lot of international viewers, so uh, can you elaborate on anchor baby? Oh, uh, it is basically like when two foreign people have a child so that okay. they can stay in America. But this was like more so like in the '90s. Like you can't really do that now. Now you can. Your parents can get deported, and the child can stay. Okay, which sure. is uh, really sad. That's which is, awful. Yeah, it happens a lot. I've been seeing it. Like kids get put in care because their parents like are illegal. Oh man, that's awful. Is that why? Um, it is terrible. But it, yeah, it used to be like that. Is that where like the whole commonality of like uh, adopted American Asians come from, or yeah, it is. Yeah, but it's also like they some people just don't do that either. They go to like some rural area in like China, you know what I mean? And just, just pick like, up a baby, yeah. Orphanage, which is like great because those orphanages are shit over in third world countries. Like it's unless you're like in Korea, like it's probably or Japan, yeah, like progressive Asian countries, like it's probably shit. Yeah. So is Japan that, is, is more that? progressive uh, in your. Uh, would like they yeah because they have like places like uh korea and japan they have places where like they take care of abandoned babies because like uh, oh, asian yeah, people are, yeah. are very quiet so like they don't you know confrontation is just not a good thing so they don't want to deal with shame or anything so they can just drop a baby in a box pretty much and right. they, there's somebody on the other side to pick them up 
Right. Yeah, that's that's awful. Yeah, because yeah, I was it just re- helps I, like suicide, honestly. Like that's yeah, why they yeah. do it. Because um, <laughs> so so that was a that was a that was a uh important take that I heard because uh I watch a lot of like Japanese YouTubers and stuff like that and uh they all a lot of people a lot of them say there's a huge like there's obviously a lot of xenophobia in Japan but they say it's a huge xenophobia for like uh Vietnamese people as well. Yeah. So yeah, that was pretty interesting to But hear Japan, that. I think they just have trust issues. Yeah, just trust issues well, and I I, I kind of Yeah, I kind of get the idea not wanting to be around something you're not used to. Like, especially for, uh, like, a Japanese culture. I forgot the name mm-hmm. of the type of culture they have. Uh, uh, indiv- not individualist, but the opposite of that, basically. They stick to themselves and stuff like that. Yeah. So I could I could understand that. I could definitely That's why they condone, that. like, people who are, like, hikikomori and stuff. And just... <laughs> yeah. Which is, which is honestly crazy. I wish I could do that, you know? I wish America would recognize my need to stay inside and not leave <laughs> <laughs> right, but no i have to go outside <laughs> that's literally like my because i got i got a couple of uh, japanese shatters that's literally my nickname call myself hikikomori <laughs> all the time yeah uh, and that's uh and that's a term that i like learned from anime as well so like do you have like any favorite type of anime or i'm not like a big anime person but like um i do have a list that i need to obviously watch it's a very long list there's okay. just a lot of anime out there well you but, uh, definitely start with the priority know. yeah i mean my favorite one was um the last one i watched it it was berserk well i think one was called like time machine or time i forget what it was it's was about it, like uh, time traveling psychopaths or mm. did he go to a uh like an island it's like a professor and he's building a machine. Steins Gate. Then- Steins Gate. That's Steins Gate. it. Yep. Oh, God. That shit is so good. <laughs> I'm, I'm oh, the weed. Man. I'm the weed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that a shit. good one. I love things that make you have to, like, remember. Like, keep, like you have to pay attention or you're yeah. going to get lost. You know, I, I like that. Right. But yeah, yeah that's, I really- uh, like, ReZero. That's kind of like that as well. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. what's, like, at the top of your... Uh, Got I gotta watch list. Where's my phone? <laughs> Let me go to my notes. It's long. It's sad. It's, oh my god! We it's because it's one. like I'm so behind. Wait, where is the anime? Anime. Where is it? Anime watch list. Um. Oh my god! It's so long. Oh, Rise of the Shield Hero was really good too. I like. Oh those. yeah, really. I like those. I like those. The the isekais. I do, I do, I do. I'm a Have sucker. You, uh... it's, you know, it's just like, oh, the, the guy's getting, you know, no, no love. You know, he's getting a <laughs> beat. He comes and rises the t- <laughs> and saves the fucking world. I love it. It's so wholesome. <laughs> I might then I might have to make that list a little bit longer, but I do recommend <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> I do recommend you put it at the top though, because this is the best one out of all. Maybe it's already on my list. It's called Mushuko Tensei Jobless Reincarnation. Yeah, it's a, it's a number four. That should be number one in terms of these like, I Definitely should. That's like amazing. Yeah, I have that. Uh, Doro he Doro. Oh, Doro Doro. Yes. That's I haven't watched that one actually. I'm not a big fan of like CG anime and as a whole. To be really, honest, yeah, really, it's so nostalgic for me. I like it. It's like you know, I don't know. It it's just some, like it's just different. sometimes like ugly to me. Like you said, you watched Berserk. Did you watch the 2016 one? I watched all of them. Oh no! And I, I looked past it. I just listened to the story. You know. <laughs> Salute and chat, man. That is the worst experience. Ever. It is terrible. I was like, oh my god, but they tried their best to get the visuals out for us. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, they should have just tried a little bit harder, so, especially so. with a series like that. Oh, they can redo it, right? Hopefully, I want to. I want to see 
like probably something like Jujutsu Kaisen. It's kind of a mm-hmm. mix, and and they do it really well. And uh, so like with uh anime, then uh, going I'm gonna move away from like the sex working thing for uh, a little bit because you yeah. do stream you do stream on Twitch. Uh, I've been playing Fortnite like a. <laughs> crazy like tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> like crazy i see the notification every time on my yeah. phone i'm like what's oh. happening to me <laughs> <laughs> so uh when did what like what got you into streaming and when did you start um i started streaming at the beginning of covid oh uh, okay. yeah <laughs> a lot of people definitely definitely i pl- i streamed overwatch and i just raged on there and played it was fun <laughs> then i just started doing like just chatting yeah, just having and that was like my my strong suit, and then I just fell off. I don't know, and then I just stopped streaming. I don't know what what happened. Yeah, I, I understand. I, understand. I can't even remember, remember like what happened. I'm like, oh, I just just stop. Yeah, it was going well too. It was it was great, but yeah, Do but you, uh... yeah, it, it was a good time. I. People miss it. They miss yeah, I love. It. I love. I I even told you like you should probably do like just chatting more too as well. I even I texted you that once. Mm-hmm. And uh, cause that's what I do. I love it, especially cause like I only have one American viewer. Everybody else is just like international. So we just like to talk about the countries and stuff and uh the history and stuff. Sometimes we get a little too rowdy and political. I gotta try to sp- yeah, calm yeah. that down on that. But uh, like, it's still fun. It's still it's still really fun. Uh, so do you see streaming as like a main source of income in the future? Would you like take it seriously? I mean, I wouldn't mind. That's why I I stream on both um, Twitch and Kick. Mm -hmm. That means I have to uh, like boost. I just have to try harder. It's yeah. Put more effort into doing the stuff. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like the thing, especially with Twitch, like the best way to like get out there is uh, social media prospecting. That's pretty much. Cause it's hard to get noticed too much on Twitch. It's not like you. It's not like the YouTube algorithm or anything like that. So pretty much the best way is to just like repost TikToks. And I'm kind of being hypocritical because I need to do that more. But I stream too. No, it's like you telling me is like telling yourself too. It's a full <laughs> it's full circle. I do the same thing. I, <laughs> I was swear. like, I know I'm telling you, but I'm telling myself. <laughs> I need to do this more too. It's so it's so hard when you're doing ten hours, twelve hours a day, and then you just like, oh, I'm going to sleep. And this is uh, yeah. Bob my time management it. has been going down. I don't right. know what it is. It's like I'm losing track of time, and I'm only, like, all of a sudden, it's like four hours later. I'm like, what happened? What that's happened? literally that, that's how, that happened to me today. I'm like, God damn! I usually start at twelve thirty. I realize it was like two thirty. I'm like, oh fuck! <laughs> God yeah. damn! I'm just trying I'm to just wake up that. earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I hate waking up like uh midday, like one o'clock, twelve. That's like the worst. It's just like I what happened. I, I I I try to wake up uh at six a.m. But I also do work a night shift job. So when I'm not working it, I do want to try to wake up at like six a.m. Get shit done, and I'm right. trying to get out that job right Nobody's now. Nobody's awake yeah. in the morning. No one's no one. out. It's no. just quiet. It's chill. I love that time. I just fucked myself. I don't know what it is. I started sleeping at like three. Like I I like tell myself I'm like at three I need to start heading to bed like. <laughs> But then um, I could be on my phone for like two another hours. hour, another hour. Too. That's the dangers. That is, and me every I have to wake up at three, two thirty actually, and then I don't end stream until ten. So I'm like, I try to just throw my phone the fuck to the side. I'm like, I'm, I'm leave, just stay away from me because that's between like the the what is it the the narrators who <laughs> tell stories, or I do like sleep meditations and it puts you right to sleep. I need to start doing that again with uh, when I'm learning different languages because, like, I'm learning Thai right now. I'm trying to learn a little bit of Japanese because uh, I do plan to do, like, a 30-day stream in Japan soon. So uh, Yeah, you should because Japan really appreciates it when you... Uh, oh, yeah. yeah when I you do- know. I've been learning... Oh, yeah, I've been learning that through uh, my two chatters. They just... uh They love... And, and they love teaching me. They, they love teaching me Japanese. I'm like, thank you. I learned so much new stuff. <laughs> so, like... I, I think like Japan and France is like the two places like they really appreciate it if you speak at least mm. a little bit. Like, and Thailand, really... Thailand. Yeah. Really. Yeah, but they, I feel like it's like in Thailand they they have so much tourism. They like yeah. everyone knows English, so it's like Japan. Yeah, think... You you could be in the wrong street and it's just nothing but like old heads. 
Right. You know? And it's like, no one there is going to help you. They're just going to look at you and be like, I don't know what this crazy person's saying to me, but I'm going to walk away. You know what fucking, I mean? Fucking gaijin. <laughs> I, I want to be able to talk to these old people. Like, yeah, literally. literally. That's like they're the ones that know. They know where the spots are. Right. And then, like, with the uh, whole Thailand thing, I feel like that's, like, the... Uh, with the tourism and uh, Western tourism, they're legal I'm... with weed now. Yeah, that's why I'm going. <laughs> that's why like I'm Thail- going. Like Thailand's crazy now. Like it's they're so tour- like they just made their economy like skyrocket. Like after Literally. doing all the weed, I'm like, oh man. I'm like, shit. I don't know I'm what that's gonna now. do to all the other countries. Not yeah, that's like the main like political like conversation. It's so close to them now. Yeah, like, yeah. conservative countries like they're gonna be like. Oh, well, now there's people bringing all this stuff from your country to our country, and blah 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 blah. It's gonna happen. It's all. Gonna be that's right yeah. That's yeah. That's the, that's like their it's main inevitable. talking point. It's inevitable. Yeah. That's 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 why it's like their main talking point right now. And uh, they're trying to. They they say they're trying to make better weed than America. Do you think? Was Singapore? Is? Singapore oh, yeah. cannot be down for that. No, they there's won't. no way Singapore is down they for that because they're so close to Thailand. Yeah. Yeah, that's a. Uh, yeah, Singapore is like, and that's like, like what the safest. Singapore country? will kill you. They're the yeah, safest, the you know, safest. if you follow the rules. If, if, right, I was about to say they're the safest, but you as long at as what cost? Follow, at what cost? Exactly, <laughs> losing your fucking arm. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, God, damn. Yeah. Yeah, but honestly, I want to go to Singapore though. It's yeah, one of those places say, that you go for one day. I was about to say, like, I, I would still yeah. go there. I would still go there. I might visit. I want to uh, go for one day and just go to, like, a nice hotel, see all their things, and then go home. Fly yeah, to, yeah. you know, somewhere else. I think that's what actually happened to a, a OnlyFans uh, model. He was doing, because it's completely, all porn is illegal in Singapore. Yeah, so the show, that's fucked. Even yeah. in Thailand, there's certain um, rules. Right, well. yeah, and like he got like, yeah. and the fact, and, and every time he got arrested for it, and he got out, he got right back to it, and kept doing like, I respect that grind. I do. I, I, I wonder what his name was. I can't remember right now. Yeah, there's not that many Asian countries that are chill about. Then yeah, it, and it's also at the same time, there's not a lot of Asian countries like that. And then like, on the side of that, it's like a super like uh sexually liberated uh community as well like kind of like japan in a way I, I don't know if they're too against like pornography and uh sex work and stuff like that but then japan's also... just hella regulated like they just yeah. prof- they're profiting like they're using it you know like, as like just to make more money okay okay right right yeah, yeah japan is like... making hella money because they have like you know they have hotels you Love know hotels. You... yeah they have the whole shebang you can hire girlfriends and they don't even do anything with you. You just spend time with them. Like, well, 90%, 95%. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, there is a, there is a, I'm not saying like they don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but yeah. yeah, but there is, that is something that you can do there because people <laughs> are so conservative. Oh, I know that. Uh, I think I got my Australian homie in the chat. We, we know Suzuka. <laughs> we know Suzuka. 100%. But yeah, speaking of Japan, because like, I have a chachilla. His name is Totoro. And, uh, <laughs> and I see that Ponyo uh, pillow in the back. Yes, you, my little Ponyo. What's your, like, favorite uh, Ghibli movies? Um, I would say either Spirit Away or Ponyo. Okay. Only because, like, uh, what is it? Spirit Away for me, it's, like, uh, very nostalgic. Right, I remember, yeah. like, watching it on, like, Tsunami and, like, and then it ended up being on Cartoon Network. And then mm-hmm. that was, that's, like, the only one I can watch um, dubbed. Oh, oh really? Because they did it really well. The the English dubbed on Spirit Away is very good. Yeah, I love, like, I love. On the point, because Disney yeah. took over and they did it. And they made it wonderful. It was it was a one. Disney that did the job. It was Disney, yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. I, that's one yeah. thing I didn't know. That's wow. what they, uh, what is it? I think they sold the rights to Disney now. Oh, wow. oh right. Because you it, can watch all of them on Disney Plus. Disney Plus, right? I did see that. Wow, they definitely did license that. Man, yeah, that's, all, you know, <laughs> that's sad. Know. Because, like, Ghibli Disney. was, like, the Disney of Japan. Yeah, it's like... but it's expensive now. Yeah, Everyone it's... makes every... Like, these corporate guys, they make everything hella expensive so that they can 
make the you know the circle small right it's fucked up because they want to know where everything's going like the internet's making everything so exposed that like everybody's just trying to keep it tight so we know what everybody's minds at with you know for money marketing corporate <laughs> everything is just fucked especially the disney's just monopolizing everything to begin with too. everything yeah. no, i think they're starting no. to make their own anime as well soon and then uh, they just been licensing really all the good anime. Like a lot of people can't even watch good anime because they're licensing them. Yeah, there's really no good anime right now. Like like new. New? Uh, let me think really quick. You got Zom one hundred. Zom one hundred is really good. The bucket list of the dead. So it's basically just about uh, a guy who hates his fucking corporate lifestyle. In Japan, mm-hmm. and uh, he wished a nuke would just fall onto Japan. Uh, he just really wants to die. He's been abused by his job, uh, mm-hmm. but then uh, the next day before his work day, he really didn't want to go to a fucking zombie apocalypse just break out. And like, and this is where I like the bo- the best because like the usual reaction, like, oh my god, life is over. It's a zombie apocalypse. But for him, it's just he's just like literally just running on the roof from a crowd of zombies. It's just like I'm fucking free. I don't gotta go to work today. And he just he's jumps just so off. Happy. Of he's so happy, and I'm like, I understand that. You know what? I what is it called? Zom what? It's called Zom 100. Uh, bucket list of the dead. It's only one okay. episode now, actually, and the second one comes out tomorrow. Perfect timing. <laughs> right? Just <laughs> get, get get right into it. Fucking uh, another new one is uh an example of what Disney licensed. Uh, it's called Heavenly Delusion. It's a really, really, really good show that went completely unnoticed uh, because Disney licensed it. Heavenly so, what? Uh, Heavenly Delusion. You could find it on, uh, I want to say Hulu, if you have one. Hulu's a good place to look at that. <laughs> Again, Mishoku Tensei, top of the list. God, this list is getting so long. <laughs> I could definitely send you a list of priority shows too. I could definitely like shows that like you definitely have to watch. I wouldn't recommend One Piece though, but like I, I watched that when I was younger. Okay, okay. And I, I don't feel like it's necessary for me to rewatch it. I do want to rewatch old stuff I've seen because mm-hmm. it will hit differently, but. I just wish they didn't have so many fucking seasons. <laughs> I swear, that's why I'm. That's why I'm honestly kind of blessed that I grew up on One Piece. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. Like I do not want to rewatch that. Like same like, thing with Naruto. Literally. I'm like, I'm good. Nah, yeah, I wouldn't want to rewatch Naruto either. No. And that's and that's like the biggest problem with these like goaded original shows is because after 2015, a bunch of new anime fans came in. Because we would know. watch it when it came out. Exactly. You know, so it hit different. Now it's like. You have to binge it. Like, I don't want to watch a thousand episodes. <laughs> I'm like, well, not my problem. Shit, I'm already. I guess you up. could do that. You could be like every week, watch one episode or something crazy hype. In your I yourself, actually, but... I did test that theory when uh, One Piece hit a thousand episodes. So I'm like, I'm gonna rewatch all of One Piece up to one to a thousand, and I actually pulled it off in a month. So like, that's rough. It was. I, mean, it was... I could do it. Yeah, no, like it was, it was painful. It was, it was still painful. I'm not gonna lie. I, I fell asleep through a lot of my shifts. Uh, That's what I lost it is, and then you're sleep. just like, I missed all these details. Do I even keep watching? Yeah, exactly. And then I'm just like, uh, it was a filler. It's cool. <laughs> it's a filler. Cool, it's cool. fine. You can skip it's the fillers too. I know, but it's all details. Character development. Character it's development. The only filler that I would watch in One Piece is the uh, Ace filler, Fire Fist Ace. Cause like that, that's the only filler that actually adds to the story. Cause uh, in the manga, they really only show like Fire Fist Ace for like one chapter, and then they did the whole Marine Ford arc. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but uh, when you watch the anime, he's there for like 20 episodes, so it's like it adds more emotional attachment to the characters. I'm like, okay, I like the anime better uh, with that. It's my favorite emotional attachments. <laughs> I swear, it hurts more. 
I love the pain. I, <laughs> I want to be like, sad. Give it three more seconds. Watch like the the, the super happy. Oh. oh, there we go. We're back. Okay, cool. So uh getting disconnected a lot. So I'm gonna uh get these questions in really quick. We still got a couple of ones. Uh so you've seen the uh you seen up to date with a lot of stuff going on. So do you you're aware of the whole Adam twenty two Linda the plug situation, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. How uh, how do you like feel about that? Do you think Adam's like a cuck, a loser? Because that's what a lot of I don't of the, feel anything. You don't. You just honestly. don't care. You just don't care. I don't care. Um, uh, I think it's. I, I always see it as marketing. Right. That's what that's I said. What I, that's the only thing I can see. Like uh, when I see that, I'm just like, you guys. You see how you guys are reacting to this stuff. They mm-hmm. knew that this was how it was going to happen to promote this girl's new video. Exactly. She's obviously getting royalties off of this video. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's the only reason why anyone would do that. I'm, I'm so happy I got that answer. Yeah, I was you know I'm happy saying? I got that answer. Because that's been my I'm thoughts like, on it. I'm like, I don't you... give a fuck about their life. Like, Literally. I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, who cares what they're fucking doing? Like, it does not affect yeah. ours. I mean, yeah, I definitely. Oh, yeah, that's another thing about like. Let him let his wife do whatever she wants. There's plenty of porn stars who are married who do this stuff. Like, Mm -hmm. and his wife is technically is a porn star. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she she works with other girls who are porn stars and they make content together. They 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 just post on OnlyFans and other sites and stuff. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, how how is your uh? love life right now are you thinking about settling down like where are you at right no. now no um i've never been one to really like um i don't know yeah i'm I'm not i'm not the one uh i, I just feel like there's so much of myself that i don't know and mm-hmm. each time that i think i know i like have some big thing happen in my life where it causes me to have character development then I have to relearn myself and it's just this fucking cycle so I just feel I don't know I understand like love is also like like I, I also romanticize things I'm very like um I'm just very in the clouds sometimes and I like um I get too passionate and so like e- even if I know like, I'm still going to be, like... Like, I'm the type to be, like, friends with benefits. But, like, when we're together, it's like we're dating. <laughs> Hella toxic. But I also know I'm just, like... But we know our boundaries, right? I know we're doing all this right now and then being like this together. But we have to know at the end of the day what it is. Yeah. I've only been able to do it one time. And it still got too far. I couldn't even do it for I just two got days. like done with it. I literally oh, just got man. done with it. So I'm still kind of like emotional and sad about it. But only mm-hmm. cuz like I think it's only cuz like I'm a brat and I'm just like I just want attention and I want that love again. I want somebody to be like um <laughs> cuz I've even told him like I hope <laughs> your waiter doesn't get hard for anyone except me. I hope that you, <laughs> you only can think of me to get hard but then I'm also like, I'm just kidding, but I'm also really not. <laughs> you got, you got that. You got, you, you like, you, you, you love, that you love sense? easily. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm 100%. Yeah. Cause like, you, I'm like, you I like know I'm being easy. hella toxic right now, but like, just know that like, I, I, I understand what it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's 100% how I, I, I think I just like love too hard and easily. So I try to just keep those yeah. boundaries and it's just like... Well, I just listen to people and so I'm like, if you're saying this stuff to me, I'm going to believe you. And then, mm, you know. Right, right, right. I, I could definitely get like that sometimes. So I know 100% what you're talking about. That's why like people who try to say crazy stuff to me during sex, I'm starting to get more like open about it without like rem- and like remembering that this space is also a fantasy place for some people. Like for me, it's like... It's like a thing we do like it's like a urge you know that's what it is for me like i don't like create things out of it like i don't have to like say stuff to like you know be excited um oh yeah yeah 
Cause like, I, role, like I can do role playing, but like I don't really much care for it. I, I can't do role play. I don't know. I can't can do that. I can't get. I can't get yeah. into a character. Like, That's definitely. Yeah. I mean, I, like, I, I was a Netflix actor. Stuff. Like some people say stuff, and they're like, "I know it. Like I don't really mean it. I just want you know to say it's okay. like it's okay." And I'm like, "I can't." <laughs> No, nah, literally, literally. For my for my chatter like for my chatters, I am a Netflix actor, so I definitely can get into character. I'm on Netflix. You saw me. So I, I could definitely get into a character, but uh I just can't role play. I just can't do it. It's hard. It's a hard thing to do. And but yeah, like, love what, is like hard, dude. Yeah. But loving people like I I don't know. Um uh, most and I can't be with like an insecure guy. Like I I don't know. I like guys who like care, but I don't need them to like be worried about things. You know, like why are you worried about all this stuff when literally nothing is happening? Yeah, that I I just like get that anxiety all the time, especially when like yeah. if I'm ever with anybody, it's just like I have to I, remind I just myself. Get reassurance, you know, that's all yeah. it is. I just feel like if you feel like that, just get some reassurance. Like mm-hmm. that's it. Like I don't know. Go mark your territory or something. I don't know. Like what, whatever guys do. <laughs> like I don't know. Maybe I'm being insensitive towards it, but like I don't know. I'm always very confused about it. Um, I don't know. Like I get jealous. Yeah, I get I'll... like, uh, you know, I get possessive and stuff. But like, no, I I just get reassurance. I just like that's all I do. Or yeah. I ask them questions. <laughs> Reinsurance did not go too far with me. <laughs> Definitely not. So yeah, I, but I, I literally you. tell people, I'm like, I'm not the one. I always tell them, like, I know, I seem like I'm making you feel good and all these, you know, like, it's a great time hanging out with me. But, like, at the end of the day, friendship is very important. And it's easy to be diluted if you see somebody in a romantic way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like That's what I try like, not to do. Walk all over you sometimes, or like um, you know, like let things fly. Not even walk all over. That's dramatic. It's more like you just let things fly. I would, I would, I would like, say that too. I you know say, what I mean? Because I, I mean, it happened to me literally like last week. Like it, it was that, it was that type of situation, and I was just like, uh, we try to keep our like I said boundaries or rules stuff like that. Uh, but then the rules get broken. And it's just like, uh, it's just like, then you just feel like you're getting walked all over, like you, uh, not respected, stuff like that. What? You're frozen. Okay. There we go. We're back. I need to get my own router. Maybe my VPN zone. That's probably why. So, uh, born in North Carolina. Uh, you did strip. No, I was not born. Or you were not I born. But I lived there. Where were you born? I was like raised there. I was born in um, Boise, Idaho. <laughs> oh, I love it out there. I love. It. I went to the hot springs out there. Yeah. That's a. Uh, I, I love Idaho and uh, Montana. So. Uh, yeah, Montana. Oh my gosh, it is I love, gorgeous. I love. It. It's so beautiful. I'll definitely live out there. So mm. born in Boise. Uh, you all around North Carolina. I'm pretty sure you're uh, Tennessee now, right? Yeah. I don't know if I should say that, but uh, you're over there now. Okay. Uh, yeah. Come at me, guys. Come on. <laughs> like, open carry state. Like, come on. That's I, t- I tell them. I literally tell them. I'm like, Listen, come I on. live in the. <laughs> I live in Memphis, so it's like you. you I swear. If you want to, you know, like risk it, risk it for the biscuit. <laughs> I guess. Like <laughs> that's my second home. I know how they do it out there. I go out there. Like I, I don't know. I've just yeah. Everyone that I met here has like been so nice. Like, but like, if people don't like you, it's very aggressive here. Oh yeah, I mean that's what I. I, I mean I dox myself like five times already, and I'm like, uh, if y'all really want to come into Chicago, go ahead, but just know like, if you, you want to catch a charge, like let's go. Like, like I, <laughs> my neighbor, my, right. <laughs> my neighbors would gun you down if they see somebody unfamiliar. Like you don't want to step the boundaries. That's why I said just. Y'all know where I live, but know the risk if y'all try to, you know, come stalk me. So I like I try to keep I just try to keep it like that. That's what I'm saying. Like you, I feel like you can try really hard to have it, but it's like um like have like that what is it, security or like that mm-hmm. sense of like uh I don't know. I feel like it's too easy now to find people's locations. So I Yeah, like you you like, could do it with a goddamn Google search nowadays. <laughs> like it's not even yeah. hard. 
It's really not. It's really sad. Uh, the internet's scary. Yeah, nah, it's uh, that's why I commend a lot of like uh, uh, women who put themselves out there because there's a lot of bad shit that comes with it, especially like with streaming, uh, sex work, stuff like that. Like a couple of weeks ago, a streamer literally like got her car burnt down from a. Fan. Are you serious? Yeah, like it was like that's... two three weeks ago. See, I want to do IRL streaming, but um, yeah, I get nervous. No, uh, I because feel I'm like... very reactive. I'm very good in situations, so I just like <laughs> don't want to hurt anyone. See, like that's my issue right now. It's not. It's not even more so people coming out of state to me. Like, it's more I, so I'm, just. I don't want to have to restrain anybody. Like, right. I don't want to have to do those things. Like, I just. <sighs> <laughs> Literally, like, cause I'm more, I'm literally more afraid of IRL streaming, not because of outsiders, but because literally insiders from Chicago. It's like somebody see where I'm at in Chicago, that, that could go left really quick. Like, yeah. I'm definitely gonna try that. But you That's said restrain. Quit, like, well, are you like, I mean, are you like, trained? Are you trained in something? I'm not professionally trained, but um, <laughs> I'm aware of things. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I thought he was like, oh, I'm yeah, an MMA I'm not, fighter. I'm not a big like fight type person um yeah i just feel like what's the point um <laughs> so i'd rather just restrain somebody and let them tire themselves out you know oh man that sounds professional yeah. to me <laughs> i definitely i definitely <laughs> stop i, I mean villain it's just a better me. way just be like this guy like you cannot be mad like that other person like uh, you I, cannot be whoever like you know like whatever I, they are <laughs> don't not be that like, I, I have no enemies i have no enemies yeah. at all <laughs> I'm sure I have, I don't know. I don't have enemies. I don't have any enemies. If I did, I'm sure I would. You shouldn't. Nobody's your something. enemy. Nobody's your enemy. You should. I'm not that enemy. problematic. Nah, literally. Know. That's literally what, like the main lesson of like uh villain saga is just like I have no enemies. I have no enemies. while the main character is getting his ass whooped. By him. Yeah, I'm so poor. But I love. But I love it. I love that. I love the idea of it. I love the idea of it. But I roll streaming is still like I don't know something I want to do. Like you don't have to like. If people know, they know. Yeah. You know, but like, you don't, I feel like you don't need to like fully disclose where you are. Like, hey guys, I'm on this, you know, like, I'm, hey, I'm on, on this street, this cross street of this, you know, like, <laughs> no, chill out. Just, but then, especially like, just with, walk like, around. Just like Google Maps and shit. Like, you can even <laughs> just like, just search it up on Google Maps and you could just, but like, they'll see. If they're really invested, then they'll do that, you know. Yeah, and no. that's content. <laughs> <laughs> just don't, just don't track me down. Let me, let me just ride yeah. my bike in peace. <laughs> or just don't stream by yourself. Yeah. Oh yeah. Always that's... have a buddy. Yeah. Unfortunately, I have no friends, but I'm sure I get around to it. <laughs> I'm sure I'll they're out them. there. They're, they're just gotta find there. people who like the same things you like. That's a good, good advice for y'all, because I cannot. <laughs> Nobody likes gaming anymore. Uh, I I got one yeah. anime friend, but he's busy. He got he's almost married. He got a kid. Well, do you have online friends? No, the only people I have online are my chatters. <laughs> the, really? Those are the only people I talk to in life is my chatters. I have no, I literally have no friends IRL. I, like I have a friend. I have a friend IRL. I have like, but like he's busy with life. Like he has a kid. He's getting yeah, married. Yeah, basically, yeah. Sorry. he's busy with life. But like, uh, I see him like once oh, every no. six months. You're frozen again. Wait, am I frozen this time? Can you hear me? You just cut it out. Okay, I'm back. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Good, 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 good. Man, this is crazy. It, it must be like just everything going on with the stream right now. That's why I want to keep cutting because it doesn't usually do that. <laughs> Sometimes it's like that. So, like, do you have any, like, online friends or stuff like that or are you just like what you're yes yeah. i feel like uh everyone that i talk to and i connect with online is like my friends like everyone in my discord everyone like all my chatters that they stay around they end up you know you, it takes time to build friendship like you have yeah. to like yeah and all yeah all of my like everyone on twitch that i've met throughout these years of streaming like they're like my friends like they check on 
me, like, um, check up on me, and, like, we all watch movies together on Discord, like, I've met a lot of people, like, and we just go eat and, like, go smoke or, like, chill, like, go hike and do just normal shit, like, it's nice, yeah. You just have to take that leap sometimes and just, like, have a conversation with people. Oh, yeah, that's literally, that's all I do to that. I don't, yeah, I'm That's why streaming to... is nice. It yeah. helps open yourself up. I definitely love the conversation with a lot of people, but it's like when you when they're all international, it's just like I'm never gonna meet you. <laughs> no, but you can't ever say that because yeah. you know. And I and I don't mean that in a bad way, y'all. I know y'all get a little spicy sometimes, but uh, it's just like uh, I do see a lot of these people as my friend. Probably not Raz, but I do see a lot of you guys as my friend. Uh, people just to talk to every single day. I had a really deep conversation with one of my chatters, and uh, I do want to check up on her. Uh, with the things that are going on. So uh, I do, I, like I said, I do appreciate all my chatters, especially since I don't talk to anybody outside, uh, inside, pretty much never. So that's literally why I stream 12 hours a day. Because it's like when you're in different time zone, I want to make sure I get around to everybody. That's why I try to put more effort into catering the chatters, more so doing what I want to do. So if they want to do something, I'll make sure I do it like straight away. If they want, I'm. Uh, if they want me to dedicate to something, I'll fucking do it. Uh, I'm. I'm. I like. I, I like. I tell my chatters a lot. Uh, I'm streaming for them, and uh, I don't care if I get paid. I don't care about any of that shit, cause it's more of the mental break more than like the wanting to be big or being financial about it. But I would like to still hit fifty followers within the next seven days, cause if I hit fifty followers in the next seven days. Two viewers will be able to win something within a fifty dollar budget and a giveaway. So make sure you follow. <laughs> God plug that every second. But yeah, that's why. But that's why, like, I love again with the whole communicating with your uh, fan base or viewers, uh, whatever uh, you would categor categorize them as. The only uh, fans I see are the people who um, come from. The porn side right right that's more fan because that's something i did that they see on like you know you hear that guy but then everyone on twitch fan. is just people that like we all just kept each other sane basically like all of us yeah definitely because i would stream for like seven hours each time <laughs> and i'd just be smoking jays just rolling up smoking and talking that's it that's <laughs> like i was like smoking so much i was like oh my god it's and okay. i, I yeah. literally say that's like completely brave because this is the only time i've ever like you know this is tobacco that i've smoked on stream and i'm like that's pretty brave because i'm like i'm surprised that you haven't even like gotten reported or banned or anything like that about for it because i got banned five you times it's not problematic <laughs> I, I just i promise you guys i'm not problematic but i somehow got banned five times in one week <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's like I don't know the luck of the draw. Like it really is. It honestly is. They probably just think I'm smoking cigarettes, but it's not smoking cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, this is 100 percent tobacco, guys. 100 percent tobacco. Tobacco, tobacco and pipe. <laughs> and we're both old enough to smoke tobacco. We're both yes. 21 and up. We're. Yep, 21 and up. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> we're old. All the moderators, please. <laughs> Mods, Twitch, incels. <laughs> Twitch staff, please. <laughs> Don't yell at me. No, I have really problematic people on um, my Fortnite stream sometimes, so I don't know. Just nothing happens. I'm not been emailed nothing crazy. <laughs> I think the most problematic thing that I've had for my streaming thing is uh this flag, because I think a lot of the reason I got banned was because of it. It was just people that come on and they're like, oh, I don't. What the fuck you doing with a gay flag? Blah 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 blah, and it's just these conservative people, and they just report me for the most random shit. No, that's me. that's usually what it is. Literally, I'm just like, whatever, bitch. I'm gonna be back. Like, <laughs> you're not gonna stop me, and I'm not putting it down. I don't do not like. I don't. I don't pick no sides. I just talk about the present day stuff, and I don't. Mm -hmm. I'm not too controversial. I have like I don't know. I have pretty controversial. Uh, opinions i suppose but like not nothing crazy no nah, i people like people would like to call my takes crazy but like it's only if they're like really far left or far right because i like to try to keep a centrist mindset because i i try to understand everybody and their yeah. views or takes i try to actually learn 
about other people rather than just like pick a side and just go with their views all the way. I try to learn a little bit of everything. Uh, see the bad, the good and the bad in both sides. So that's why I try to stay centrist. But some people just do not want to even have that as like an idea, <laughs> a mindset to have. They're like, what the fuck is a centrist? I'll stick to my own uh, ideologies. Like likewise. <laughs> I'm like, all right, I'm gonna just stay in the center. I'm gonna give you the <laughs> logical take. But if you don't want to like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a scientific factual guy. Saying I only I don't say anything from like belief or a personal opinion. I only say things from like the scientific like stats, research, and everything that goes along with it. And if you don't like want to agree with that, well, I'm like, well, then you're just That's like fine. atheist. You're just atheist. <laughs> like, cause I'm giving you the I'm giving you the proof, and you're just refusing to like even acknowledge it. I'm like, it's the proof right there. And that goes with, like, a whole lot of things with, like, American policies and stuff like that, especially with uh, sex work, escorting, just stuff like that. Uh, do you think, like, America should, like, normalize, like, sex work? That's such a hard question. <laughs> normalize is such a weird word. Um, I don't think so. You don't think um, so? No. Only because I have younger siblings. I have a nephew. Like, you know what I mean? I think about them, and I've had, like, uh, what is it, sexual traumas because of people who were porn addicts. And mm-hmm. they, you know, like, people look at porn, and it causes them to think that that's, like, reality. You know? So it's, like, I feel like it is very damaging. Um, oh, yeah. Like, it's just, like, there is porn out there that is damaging. It's not that the whole thing, like, it's just, like, anything. There's always a bad seed. There's always something in there that isn't good. Yeah. But, um, Everything's good with yeah, I don't think, I think there, yes, I think uh, there has to be some type of regulation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adult stuff, because there's a reason why it's called adult, you know, like, XXX. Like, it's, mm-hmm. like, you know, 18 plus. 18, like, yeah. There's a reason why it's like that. Yeah, because, like, a, a main argument for that is um, people say, like, it will most likely decrease a lot of, like, sexual assault cases if uh, there's an outlet to, like, you know, uh, express those sexual, like, tendencies, uh, especially, like, and it's a monkey's paw because, like, a lot of people would express those sexual ten- tendencies with, like, prostitution, whereas a prostitute is poorly treated by most likely a pimp. And uh, another argument is that it would really support women, especially that are in sex work, by, like, regulating <laughs> and, like, making... Uh, regulating like, would make it pros- safer. Making safer, you know? like, prostitution. It would just like, make everything safe. Cleaner, yeah. safer, there would be less damaged people, you know what right. I mean? Like, like a brothel, that's the word. Yeah. Yeah, like, you're, like, yeah, the whole pimp stuff, all that stuff, that's bad. But, that's like, about, exactly. Yeah, like, that's why, like, um, I meet a lot, I've met a lot of girls who are in, in sex work, and they, they'll tell me their story and, like, how they perceive sex work and how it's going for them and, like, what you know? And I'm just, like, you realize that, like, you are, like, the most important person in this industry. Like, you are the reason why it's running. Exactly. Like, you don't need all this other stuff. But, like, if you need it, obviously utilize it and, like, let it help you. But, but don't forget, like, your work. Like, I don't know how people don't realize that. And so they, they think because they're doing this thing, it devalues them. And it's just like, no, it's about how you're, how you're thinking whenever you're doing mm-hmm. it. And how you, you position understand yourself. That, yeah. If this is, if you're literally doing it just for money. Oh, no. Hold that thought. Oh, no. Okay. Out. <laughs> there we go. We're back. Technology. We're back. You said, uh, we're talking about positioning yourself. Uh, um, what do you remember? What, cause, like, we're obviously both smoking. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> do you uh, uh, um, okay. But, oh, shit. But, yeah, like, oh, like, I don't know. It's, I guess it's easier for me to say because I had a good time. But I have also been propositioned by pimps mm-hmm. and stuff. And I've, like, I've, when I lived in Florida, I would go and hang out with them. I'd be like, I, you know, I'd go listen to their game. Like, I'd go and do it. Like, I wouldn't, I would never go and join them, but like, I would 
I would listen. I was like, you know, you know, let's see. Let's see what you you have to say to me and how you're going to try to convince me. It's like, uh-huh. I just wanted to see what it's like. And then I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, this is, like, all manipulation. It's all uh-huh. just, like, yeah. Like, the girls are all like, yeah, I'm fine. Like, um, he just got me this Maserati. And then it's like, um, all these, you know what I mean? They're like, you could be like this. Like, you could be a whole new bitch blah 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 blah. like this is a team dream work makes a team (laughs) like though it's like all the same i was like oh my god this is the funniest thing but yeah it's all manipulation like they try to like they'd be like oh you smell bad let me buy you all new stuff or like let the girls dress you up it's just so you know so you can like feel insecure about how you were living before you know like they they do stuff like that like i'm always like no, yeah, that's the whole. That's it. it, it made like that's little, toxic. It's toxic as fuck. And then with, and with like the online space and shit like that, with the start of OnlyFans, it kind of started a renaissance too. Are you like aware of like the whole like OnlyFans management agencies and stuff like that? Like, well, no, that things like that have always been around. Yeah, uh, think about cam girls. They have like pe- gr- like houses where they house you know, like those fucking ads in like Craigslist back in the day where like if you want a cam job, blah 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 blah. You know, you, you can stay in this house for free if you just, you know, work so many hours mm. you can make forty K you know, they'll say all this stuff and like we got you a room, all you gotta do is just cam and it ends up being like a very abusive thing, you know, or they like take all their money, you know, or whatever. Yeah, like porn uh company or co- agencies do the same thing. There's, like, certain uh, agencies who do the, like, they have porn houses where the girls stay, then they give them a, a fucking bill at the end of the month, and then you're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like, the, you know? all the money you just work for, you just basically just giving it back to the problem. Yeah. That's it's a bit like, oh, I got you, like, I'll pay for you, get your Uber, and then you realize at the end of the month, like, he was just doing it in that moment for you. Man. As- it seems like no matter, like, how far, like, uh, sex work and pornography like progress there's always just going to be like some type of greedy ass like man it's everywhere it's just like it's, so everywhere. it's, like, it's everywhere yeah yeah but it just has to be better regulated because there shouldn't be children or like you know like children prostitutes out there or like bra- like super just nasty just things like that like it's already a lot to do this thing like mm-hmm. don't like it shouldn't be so traumatic for people like I feel so bad, like, I didn't have such a traumatic experience, but, I don't know. I just knew that I always had the upper hand. Right. You know, I'm, like, I'm this tool that they're trying to use, you know? Like, I'm an asset. Like, that's, like, how I saw it, so it just looked different for me. But other people, it's, like, it's, like, their only means. Like, they don't know anything else, or, like, they just, like, left their house, like, like, you know, or whatever, like, their family's house, and they feel like they can't go back, and it's, like, it's just all circumstances, really. Yeah, Lee, especially, like, leaving their uh, family house, uh, when you first, like, or when you got into porn, like, are your, were your family, like, aware of it? Do they know now? They yeah, know they know now, now but they're oh. so uh, conservative. Mm-hmm. Nobody brings it up. They talk around it, really. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, even though they like kind of like talk around it and uh, ignoring like the conversation, do you feel like they're supportive of it? I just feel like they just pretend this doesn't exist. Oh man, yeah. But it's okay. Like they're they're just conservative people. Like there's really nothing I can do. Like I'm not gonna. It's it's too much, and I don't want to like stress them out. Yeah. You know? right. Cause they're you know getting older, and I just don't want to like. Chill, you know, you just yeah, there's all the there's there's. There's way more important things that we have to fix in the family. That's not my that, thing. That's like the that's like, that's like <laughs> that is the last thing that yeah. I don't even need to bring that up. It's not even important. Like oh um, yeah, if you are yeah. uh, well, that's probably uh probably be a little like too personal. But if you're comfortable, is there like some of those things you want to elaborate on? Like what do you mean? Like those like, like family problems that you talk about? I don't know. It's just like um. Just a, con- I was raised by a single dad. Okay. And he was very young, and uh, he worked a lot. Uh, he made me think, you know, that life was a, a certain way. But then I got older, and then I learned what it really was, you know. And I never knew 
until it already happened, you know? So it was just like this cycle of that. And then, uh, yeah, really. I, this is how I, I'm like loosely talking about it, but, um, no, yeah, you're fine. I, I, I'm getting good. Um, stuff, so yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 And then like, uh, yeah, my dad's just not, he just wasn't meant to be a dad. And so there's just a lot of things that are just super sus that he did in the family that like nobody wants to address. Nobody wants to talk about it because they're so non-confrontational. I'm the only one that they can gossip with because I don't give a fuck and I'm American. So I'm just like, da 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 da. You know, I'm just like <laughs> telling them the whole shebang. They're like, oh, they're like, I was like, oh, you don't know the tea. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, let me just tell you real quick. You know, because there'll be people who like don't even know that I have younger siblings. Mm-hmm. Like in the family or like a family friend, I'd be like, "Oh, you're telling me my dad just decided to keep this a secret because he's embarrassed." Let me just tell you really fast. I am very problematic um, with <laughs> just with my dad, just because like he is a narcissist. So like narcissists are never going to admit. They're never going to, you know, if I'm going to confront him, it, there's I'm just going to get angry, <laughs> and I don't. I'm too. I'm too old to deal with a grown man's <laughs> anger. I'm sorry. Like. Um. Nope, I already dealt with that my whole life. Like, I'm not doing that right now. And my dad knows that. So that's why, like, I can only see my dad so often. Okay. Because he, my, because he knows that all these people that are around him are going to fill me in on what's been going on since I've been gone the last time I saw him. And, and like, he knows that. Like, like one of his baby mamas is going to be like, no, you're, this is what's been going on. Da, 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 da. And I'm just like fantastic let me go hold this grown-ass man accountable (laughs) (laughs) oh yeah no because no one else wants to do it i'm just like are we just gonna ignore the fact like i don't want my younger sisters to be affected i think i have to talk to them be like like i have to be like hey because they're 10 so i'm just like all right listen like you're smart enough to understand what i'm saying so like you know you're aware enough not even smart just you're aware enough it's like hey i know dad's like this and I, i just want you to know like are you okay? Like, I just want, mm-hmm. like, I want you to know that like, you're not the problem with all this stuff. If he gets angry, that's not okay. Like, don't ever think this is okay. Cause this is not okay. Don't make him think that whatever he does that hurts your feelings is okay. Because it's not. Cause he does that. He'd be like, Oh, you're overreacting, blah, 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 blah. Or be like, Oh, it doesn't, it didn't happen. Who just like act like it, nothing happened. So it's like gaslighting, you know, <laughs> that's like, that's like straight up gaslighting. Literally. When you just pretend, like he's just doing that to everybody so i try to tell them like if you want to know anything just ask me like ask your mom because she will tell you too like just don't ask dad because he's just here at this point <laughs> he's just waiting till he dies like that's literally what my dad's like he that's that's unfortunate but when you do shitty things to people that's what happens like karma yeah. is terrible it's definitely, it's definitely hit back in the yeah. future for like sure. my grandma had like huge um I guess like uh inheritance mm-hmm. because uh she had passed away uh in twenty fourteen and uh my dad claimed the whole thing and didn't tell anybody and then wasted it. <laughs> oh, so that no. is like that is like honestly the craziest shit ever to like ever since I heard that I was like are you kidding me? You're telling me we had assets. We had assets, and you wait. I know. So now, man. and so my dad now has nothing for us. Fuck. Like my little sisters, they're straight. Like, cause their moms like love them a lot, and like I know one of them is super straight because their mom has like, uh, stocks, like insurance, like everything on their kids, like anything. So like they're straight like if the parents die anybody they're all good like they have money when they turn 18 like okay okay you know, yeah like she's day trading for them that, that's, that's like the day, like if they buy crypto for them like and put it away oh crypto so that, too yeah like okay. this this my dad this one baby mama is literally like the best and she's <laughs> she's yeah she's awesome like she's the only person that has like acknowledged human like like she was just the most empathetic person. She'd be like, I, I understand how hard it is to like not have your mom. Like she's like, I know that your life has been different because you didn't have your mom and stuff. And I was like, I've never heard anybody that was Vietnamese say this to me before in my life. <laughs> <laughs> like it was very uh just very refreshing. You're just like, Okay. They're not all bad. 
but she also dealt with a lot and she's a mom and yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. 100%. that's just recipe for empathy right 100 percent. yeah especially yeah. yeah i know how it is growing up with like a single parent i also got lucky to meet females who weren't toxic as him right. like i yeah like i got really lucky like i everyone in my family is just very wholesome like no one's like a really a bad person like it's just the men i don't know what it is I've, exactly i feel like that was the complete like, literally polar opposite for me i actually don't have any men figure in my life I only have female a uh, woman it's like single parents just like you uh but like every, i feel like i'm i guess that's like the it's there's no good side to it but i feel like that's uh very much so like a luckier side that's what i'm kind of blessed with so i have a lot of women having female family. energy like that yeah i feel like is it helped me respect it, it helped me you, also you know what love is women. yeah you, you you know you know what passion. love is passion <laughs> uh it, especially in a misogynistic world today like it definitely taught me how to respect women uh it's like, oh you're feeling everything. sad it's okay cry you know literally <laughs> like, literally, literally. No, literally. like my dad used to tell me like don't cry <laughs> he's like why are you crying I'm like, <laughs> like he was i don't know we don't have that many men in my family it was just like like me growing up i had it was just me and my grandma and then my brothers and my dad and grandpa so there was a lot of men energy but thank God for my grandma. Cause... I swear. I yeah, because she was head of household, like, respect-wise, you know? Like, financially, it was my dad. But, like, anyone who came to the house that saw my grandma, they were, like, giving her gifts and all this mm-hmm. stuff. I'm sure my dad was, like, had some resent or some, resentment or something. I don't know, dude. Not I don't yet. even know the story. That's the thing. He Like, he doesn't want to tell us, so nobody knows what's going on. <laughs> we don't know what happened. Like, what happened, dude? What happened? There's like no chance that I can sit down with my dad and be like, "So you want to tell me what's going on and what it, why you, you did all these things?" Um, <laughs> He'll be like, "Like my life is my life." Like, so he says shit like that to me. My life is my life. Your life is your life. We are just uh, two adults in this world. Like in Vietnamese though, so it's just like I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, Dad, why are you saying this to me? Where you are my dad. You call me all the time. You text me all the time. You love me. You like I'm your daughter. You. Like, you would have stopped acting like we're friends because we're not. I would never be your friend. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, not my friend. <laughs> that's definitely what a lot of like the uh, woman in my family is doing. It's like trying to tell me to like forgive my dad, give him the benefit of the doubt, and shit like that. And I'm just no, like, because it's like I can't. <laughs> I can't. It's not even because you have to just like be like he wasn't even there, dude. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? So it's like you should. There's like my older brother. He didn't form any emotional attachment towards my mom. So, right. like, my mom recently started, like, getting in touch with us and all this stuff, but he has not. Like, I'm the only one who saw her, and I'm, like, because I'm just, like, you know, that's my mom, you know, I don't, like, I'm going to go visit her. She hasn't seen me. I'm sure this is painful for her, like, you know. She yeah. pushed us out of her body, like, got to give her some respect. <laughs> <laughs> if, 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 that, if it was my mom, most likely, and, uh, you but, know? like, because my, my dad had three kids, my older sister, my older brother. They're the only two people that ever had interaction. I'm the only kid that never had an interaction with them. So it's like they always wanted to go see him, call him and shit. I'm just like, I don't want to see this mother. Yeah, it was, I'm sure it was so confusing as a kid because like mm-hmm. they're like over here excited and you're like, why? Like why? <laughs> especially especially, why? Growing, especially growing up in the only time. I'm pretty sure I'm the only kid in my town that had a single mom or a single parent at all. So I'm just like, I don't. I, it was confusing, but then I'm like, I don't want to see this motherfucker I don't know. Like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, the only time my family call... just fed me bad stories about my mom so that I wouldn't have positive Yeah, yeah. They, uh, it's memory. Like, which, is they tr- only... which is terrible, because now I'm like, you see, the, you see the truth, and you're like, damn, I feel so bad for being a child and angry at my mom. Was it the men that was telling you these ideas? And like my, uh, It was like my grandpa, my dad mainly. Like My grandma would just like, like, oh, your mom called last week. And then, like, she would just be like, oh, like, your mom's on the phone or something. Like, she, yeah. Just so conservative. <laughs> that's like, a, that's... this is so opposite of me. So it's always like, I can't believe I was like that. But I was also very, like, I was quiet but rebellious. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, no, me like, too. I wasn't 100%. hella vocal, but I was doing things. My I was... actions. I was, I was... 
You do not have to tell me I fucking yeah. spray paint. I spray painted my elementary school. I got kicked out of school twice. I was crazy, <laughs> but I never talk. I, I was quiet. I was quiet. Yeah, I was, I was a good kid. <laughs> the grades really was good. good <laughs> the grades was good. Everything else. Parents always loved me, so I was like, "Why oh, yeah. my dad? <laughs> <laughs> Why does my dad love me? Is it because I'm not a boy?" <laughs> like, oh no! I literally thought that. I literally thought that because I was like, "Oh, they get so much more stuff than me." <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's that sucks. But I think oh. it's because boys are hyper, yeah. and like he was like, I need to give them games and consoles because I'm like, my dad would never buy me a console, and I was like, I don't, I just want to play games too. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I had to beg him for a DS. Like, come on, dad. You so uh, what was it? One you <laughs> did you so you got you said you had a DS. Uh, you didn't play a lot of games, or do you have any like favorite childhood games? Um, I loved like Cooking Mama, Lost in Blue, um, like Harvest Moon. You know, uh, I always made sure I had the DS that I could put the cartridges in, so I'd always have the uh, old school yellow Pokemon one. Okay. Oh. And I'd play that one only. I don't know. I was a weird kid who fixated on specific things. I was like, "This is my game. This is the game <laughs> I play." And so, I, I, anytime I would lose it, I'd always get that same game. So weird. Um, I played um, a lot of GameCube stuff too. Ooh, like Nintendo was like very big for me. Um, but yeah, like Soul Calibur, Mortal Kombat, Legos. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Legos. Lego Star Wars. That, yes. that was lit. <laughs> Lego Star Wars was, that was peak. So fun. Yeah. That was so <laughs> I peak. loved it. I love Star Wars. Yeah, that was a great time. Yeah, and I was I was definitely one hundred percent like a, just a Pokemon kid. I wouldn't play any other game by myself unless it was Pokemon. I liked I, Kingdom Hearts a lot, but they Kingdom like yeah. When that started coming out, I was like, oh my god, this is literally the best game story ever to exist. <laughs> I was like, look at these fucking graphics. Look at this. Look at this. Like I was so hyped. Like I was like, I'm going to get every Kingdom Hearts. Thing tattooed on my body when I'm old enough. <laughs> like I was like, I'm gonna own every Keyblade. I'm like, I was, yeah, obsessed. I, I, I wish they would have done it. more. I wish they would have done more with you it think... because it's so good. It's so good. really. I might it's have just to like play such it. a dark. It's like wholesome but also dark, and I because like the heartless and I don't know. You gotta get into it. It's I so might good. have to get into. They should have been into a movie or a show or something because it's so <laughs> good. Like you have to play just to see it. It's like, uh, and there's so many games. They did make an anime. It's not Kingdom Hearts, but it's like the alternate Kingdom Hearts is the same people and stuff. They did make an anime for that though. Uh, I can't did they? Remember. Yeah, I can't remember the name. It's like was it like Kyrie and uh, is it like them on the island? It's not Kingdom. Like... It's not Kingdom Hearts. It's like a like a different franchise. Like characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't. I only literally saw one Maybe episode. Maybe it's older it. characters. Because it's mean, called the newer characters. It's called like the war, the the place where the war ends, or something like that. It's a really long name, but uh, they mm -hmm. do have. Uh, it's an alternative, like Kingdom Hearts. Same people, maybe in the same multiverse, I think too. But uh, it, they did make. Yeah, I love that, like that. that. That shit is so good. I'll have to check it out. It's like where the world ends. Something like that. Let me see anime yeah i thought that shit was amazing Same. like me and my brothers were so hyped about king of hearts uh or maybe i'm getting my facts mixed up no i be for something else the word the, oh the word ends with you okay 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 the world ends with you yeah that was close yeah, I might have just been talking on my ass. It might have just been. It's a game. This, it's a game and it's an anime too. They made it an anime, but uh, I think it might have just been the same character designers. Yeah, I think I I saw this as well, but I haven't seen it. But I will. Yeah, I think it's just the same. It's on Hulu. Designers. Oh yeah, it's yeah. Sure, it might be on Hulu because Disney. <laughs> yeah, this one's just. Yeah. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts is the one with like the Disney characters. Yes, it's just such a crazy like making like uh, Mickey Mouse like this yeah. sorcerer and all 
this though. I just thought that was so cool. I, I thought know. it was cool, but like I just wasn't a Disney person at the same time. So I think that's probably why I just wasn't attracted to really? it. Yeah. I liked like the old school, like um, Beauty and the Beast, Snow mm-hmm. White, you know, Cinderella, Pocahontas. The only Aladdin. ones that I really saw was like Aladdin and Lion King. Those Tarzan. Are the only oh, I've seen Tarzan. I've seen Tarzan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Jungle Alice Book was in what? Wonderland. Yeah, Jungle Book. The like, only, I just, yeah. <laughs> the only time Everything. I watched Alice in Wonderland was like on acid, and I still don't remember the shit that happened. There's so many Alice in Wonderland movies. It was the one from the 70s, the, the first one. Oh, the, the original? One. The yeah. original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That was fun to watch on acid. <laughs> so. Damn, I've already been here for two hours. Yeah, I'm about to say, I was checking the time, and I'm like, so let me just. I was uh, only like. I mean, my food's already pretty much ready. I just have to heat it up. That's the only reason why I was leaving. Was to oh, okay. To make okay. sure I eat food, you know. Okay, I want to. I want to. I don't want to hold you back too long. So I just got one more question. Uh, that is for all of us here. Short kings or tall paws? I'm not around a lot of tall people. I'm not gonna lie. In my life, so. Usually, I don't really care. I feel like I've when I most guys I've been with are not that much taller than me. Five nine, five ten. Oh, or my height. What's your height? Uh, five five. We did it, boys. We did it. Five five is in fact a good height. <clears throat> so shut yeah. the fuck up. All y'all yeah, talking shit. I don't really shit. care. <laughs> I don't really care about I, height like that. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> There's a lot of t- like two tall people. I can't like they can't even come over, sleep in my bed. You know, I'd be like, I'm so sorry, my bed is not made for tall people. Like I, I literally <laughs> sleep on a hole. I'm like if you're any taller than me, I don't know, because I feel like I barely fit on my bed. I fit on my bed, but yeah. we did it, boys. We just got word short. Uh, short king kings. Spring. I feel like short kings like um, they always try harder. We have to. <laughs> we have to. They put so much effort. So I'm like, I love that effort. We, 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 have, to, we have to focus our fucking stats on different things, like being the funny. They have to like, watch where their head is at. Like, that's all that's, they worry that's about. That's their only debuff. And that they don't have a personality. Tall people don't have personality. Imagine being tall. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We, all, we love tall people. Tall people do not come for me. <laughs> Uh, I'm glad to hear that Short King Spring is in full effect. I don't want you to uh, get too hungry now, so I'll let you go. Make some um, Vietnamese food. Make some Vietnamese food. Could totally party up on Fortnite eventually. <laughs> I need to get carried. I'm always on. I'm always on. All right. Well, I hope you have a good uh, rest of your <laughs> good rest of your night. Thank you. Thank you for no having problem. me. No problem. Thank All right. I'll leave you to it. Have fun All with right. your stream. You Don't too. die. I won't. I'm used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Tall discrimination is key.